Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft, and I just came up here for a second to check out what we've been doing so far in this world, and actually, it looks pretty cool. I, I'm surprised I have not looked at this before from here. So, there's a cool thing, but in the last episode, we built this building over here, which is pretty nice looking. I like it. And we also started work on a little bit of terraforming of the mountainside. Now, I gotta say, I did make a little bit of a blunder. A bit... A mistake in the last uh, video because I kind of just this building didn't even exist last episode and I didn't even notice it all right like in the world file I was using uh, <laughs> this building was just not even there I, I built it. it I spent an entire episode on it but it was just uh, gone so um, that's cool I guess I went ahead and <laughs> grabbed a little bit of a schematic of it from a different world and I pasted it in here. So I hope that's not like cheating because I did build it. It's just the world file was outdated. So yeah. Oh, of course it's raining. Oh, but it's sunset in Sunset Valley. So we get to sleep. Haha. <laughs> Woo. Oh, yes. And was it also last episode? We got the Elytra, which is really awesome. And now we can fly around in Sunset Valley. No problem. Speaking of Sunset Valley, which is kind of the prime suspect. Why do I call it that? In the, <laughs> these videos, I want to continue working on it, but I really want to start making some expansions. Look at all this prime real estate that is not being used. I want to start using it, okay? And what is a valley without farmland? So that's the goal of this episode, is start making some farmland efforts. And first and foremost, there is a bit of a problem though, and that is that I just don't have the, the materials to really make stuff happen. Um, if we look at my cobblestone chest, we're a bit low. Look at my stone chest. Okay, we've got a bit of stone. Yeah, we could probably make it work. But I want to get a beacon set up. I want to get a beacon. Okay, it's going to make my life ten times better. If we look in here, we don't really have much ores at all to make this happen. So we're going to make an iron farm. Okay. Yep, that's what's going to happen because beacon is a must. It really is. I believe the perfect spot for this is going to be right here. Right in my big dirt mess that I made a few months ago trying to build underground because I thought underground was cool. No, we're gonna we're gonna make an iron farm in here. Probably right there. I just decided it's like gonna, yeah, right there. That's where it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Or maybe no, maybe we're like right here. And you know what? It's gonna be floating. Right there. Yeah, that's that's where it's gonna go. But we got villagers right here, so it's gonna be pretty easy. Oh. It's gonna be pretty easy just to make it right there. And that's what I did. I just cut right to it and started building the iron farm. Alright, and as you can hear by that sound, the iron farm is working. I'm hoping that they don't really spawn like there or down here, but I think we should be good. Oh, hi kitty cat. Oh my goodness. I, we got like kitty cats spawning now. This is great. I thought this was a village for a long time. I don't know why they haven't been spawning, but hello. Now I put this farm closer to the surface because, well, I thought maybe when I'm in Sunset Valley, this thing could be running. If not. It's okay, but uh, it's worth a shot. Maybe, possibly, we could get lucky. Hi there, kitty cat. How you doing? Oh, oh, no. no I, yeah, you need to come back here. Come back. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> Aha. You love me. Oh, wow. You only took two. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, Let's take you back up to Sunset Valley, huh? Hey, stay right. Oh, no. Stay right out here. You want to scare the creepers away from me? That would be nice. Yes, just stay right here and scare away creepers. Yeah? Okay. Now the next little thing I need to do is repair the shovel and then we can get started making the farmland. Oh, oh, and maybe I should do a little bit of maintenance too because that is kind of the end of the series. Right here. Yeah, don't want that to happen. Alright, so check it out. This is what I want to start doing in this area. I went ahead and just 
uh, built up this little wall here. You can kind of see, like, I want to build little lair things of farmland. It's going to be kind of like this layered feeling going up. I don't know, I don't know how you call this, like what kind of agricultural process you call this, but it's going to look cool, all right? It's going to look awesome. And a good question to ask is, well, if there's going to be farmland here, then where's the path going to go? We obviously got to have a path going through here. So we're going to try to kind of weave it through the river here. Like, oh, it's going to go this way and it's going to weave through here and then weave through back. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. But you know what? I think seeing uh, me weave pathways like this is kind of boring, so... Time to take it third person. Now you know what, after weaving those pathways, I had an ever so slight change in heart. I, uh, I kinda wanna work on the river now, so um, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna work on that instead. You know, farmland's cool, but like, ha, river. Right, so the general idea is sort of just to have these little deep slate rock Things, I don't know, barriering, barriering, uh, is that a word? You know, like barricading, I guess, I guess. Uh, the riverbed, the riverside, the river edge. Why am I struggling with words so much? I don't know. And then we're going to have a sort of steep drop, right? A, a, like a really steep drop just right, right into here, like here. I don't know. Why steep? I mean, I don't really know. We kind of have like a gradual thing over there and I just wanted to switch it up. There's like actually no practical purpose for it um, but you know what let's go check on the iron farm i wonder if it's actually been running while we've been working here in sunset valley a little bit and oh my goodness it has been working look at that look at all that i wonder how many iron blocks this is gonna make oh wow oh wow if we keep this up we're gonna have a beacon by the end of this episode this is this is awesome look at that 42 blocks of iron already and we're just getting started with our project over here so uh, things are looking up. Well, I exhausted my sand supply and it got us, you know, not very far, but far enough for me to say it's time to build the the farmland these things these these things all right so here's the general idea we got these like semi-circle blob things and then we're gonna fill in them with dirt and they're kind of just gonna layer their way up with the slope of the valley not not like all the way up to the top but it just like ooh, it's gonna like smooth it out like a, i don't even know like near I, uh, I really hope those sound effects help you kind of understand what I'm going for, but I promise it's going to look cool. Yeah, it's going to look, it's just going to be amazing. Okay, now is it vibing? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's vibing very much. I love that. And then imagine there's plants in it. It's going to look so cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, while I'm just casually filling in with some dirt, I did have a little thing I wanted to ask you guys personally, like as humans, okay? This is like, a human question unrelated to minecraft a little bit but still kind of related and that is just like recently and this is a little bit personal too recently i've just felt so like i don't know deep deep inside my own my own mind and what it does sometimes especially for youtube we'll relate this to youtube um is that it makes me just kind of paralyzed at what to do next because I think about how big this world is and how many plans I have for it and all the, the cool things I want to do with it. But I just get paralyzed in this thought like, I don't know, that that it's, it's too much for me. And um, all this small insignificant stuff that I'm doing doesn't really, I don't know, doesn't really equate to anything. And I don't know. Sometimes I kind of just forget to have fun. Is that like, is that a bad thing? Is that a thing you guys have experienced as humans in general? Like, but sometimes when I'm playing this game, I just, I just forget to enjoy it. I'm like, okay, got to build this next project for the next video. And if I can't make a video out of this project, then what is the point of it? I don't know. That's, that's pretty bad, I think. And uh, I've noticed myself doing this like so much in my real life too. Um, just with various things, I just forget to have fun, and and 
I don't know, I end up getting in my head so much about uh, very insignificant things. So I, I guess the question was, do you guys ever do that? Like, do you ever just forget to have fun with the thing you're doing? Let's say, let's say uh, you love cooking. All right, cool, love cooking, that's amazing. Um, but as you cook more and more, instead of uh, cooking for, for fun, right? Just, you know, make food and it's good and you love it. You start uh, trying to find new recipes and start trying to learn to new techniques all the time. And you're trying to, um, I guess, cerebralize this whole experience so much that you just, you just forget to like have fun while cooking. That's an example. Um, <laughs> I do. I feel like I do this so often, in everything, um, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. So, anyways, there's my little spiel, my little talk, just while we're filling in some dirt here. I would really love to know your guys' opinion on that because it's just until today, where I just sat down and I'm like, I'm gonna play Minecraft, whatever I want to do, and it turns out I wanted to come into this world and just build whatever I want. I don't know why I've been so captivated for hours just playing here and just enjoying myself, but I don't know, sometimes I forget. I, I'm sounding like a broken record now, but I really do forget to enjoy it. <laughs> so yep, would love to know your thoughts on that, but I'm gonna continue play some dirt. You don't want to see this anymore, or maybe you do, and that's a little weird, but you know, it's just dirt, so. A bit of stone and dirt placing later, as well as some wheat placing. Look at this. This is pretty awesome. You know, I haven't got all the crops in uh, each one of these yet, because we, well, you don't, we, <laughs> we're down to eight wheat seeds, and I've just been lazy with the potatoes, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there, and this is looking really cool so far. And I think my favorite view is definitely going to be from atop, because if you look from atop, I just, I don't know, It I like circles, and they're not really full circles, but they look cool, okay? Like, from atop, it just, it just makes me feel happy inside. Does, it, does this not make you feel happy? I hope it does, because it makes me feel happy. Um, but we've got a lot more work to do, because there is a whole nother side, wow! But first, we have to do everybody's favorite part of the episode, pumpkin planting. Oh yeah, I love pumpkin planting. Um, but basically, you know, we, we can have farmland, but we gotta have people that come and take care of the farms, and, you know, we gotta have houses for those people, so that's why we're gonna intermingle. In intermingle? I'm really making up words today. Is that a word? Probably is. Um, but we're going to build some houses, or plan them out, because I don't really know <laughs> if I can get, um, all these houses done in one episode. Now, when building villages, people often make farmhouses smaller, which makes sense because, you know, farmers don't make as much money as, say, the city folk, but um, that's not going to be the case in Sunset Valley. We're going to have uh, just the same size house um, in each of these, and I kind of want to build windmill right here. This is where windmill is going to be. And now, does it really make sense to have a windmill when you're next to a river? I have no idea, but I want a windmill. And I want a windmill right over here, too. Okay? Just, you know, it's a, a windmill. And why exactly do I want windmills? The world uh, may never know. Um, but I do. So, I'm falling. So, we're going to build them. Oh, and also, I was thinking with this path right here, we got, like, this path and then hill. Well, we're just going to go right through this hill. I want to make a cave. I think, uh, I think a cave could kind of just break up the flatness of everything. Also, I would just like to take note of uh, the pig bush over there. That is now called the pig bush. They all congregate over there. I don't know why. Very mysterious.
All right, so anyways, I just put on some music and I just went to town and built up all the rest of the fields. So uh, here, we can actually go on free cam. I forgot I had this mod installed. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It doesn't really cheat. I, I can't cheat with it, like, at all. And even if I could, I don't. But anyways, point is, it looks pretty cool from a bird's eye view. I'm really liking the vibe we got going here. But um, something I really want to do is add some more trees into this area. And we've honestly got so much green space to do this, so this is going to be great. We can add so many trees. Um, and by the way, if my voice does sound a little different, that's because I'm congested. That's just kind of what happens in my room. It's really dusty because I just uh, reorganized it. So now everything's moved around and that's also, be, you know, maybe my mic sounds a little different because there's a lot more space in here. Anyways, those are the little updates I wanted to tell you. But uh, guys, I'm going to go live stream i know if any of you here uh have seen the live stream and are watching this video hi hello now you get to see me again and uh yeah maybe i'll do more live stream in the future but i, I guess i'll just update uh people on the video side uh what happens on the live stream i don't know how long i'm gonna go for but i just felt like i wanted to do it because i have some free time like an extended amount of it so that's good anyways we'll see what we can do on the live stream uh, but I'll see you guys on this YouTube end in a little bit. Well, technically in like a few seconds because, y you know, it's like YouTube, but... Okay, and so there we go. One live stream later, let's go into free cam here, and you can see all the ground here is changed, and it looks really cool. Like, it just looks different, and it looks... I don't know, it makes the farm look better. It really just makes Sunset Valley look like its own place, and that's kind of what I love about this is we can make Sunset Valley look unique, and it's like inside Ash's world instead of inside a Minecraft generation world kind of thing. But there's still work to do. All these netherrack pillars are going to be trees of varying sizes. So we got small ones and we got big ones. And now I also want to add the bridges in because, I mean, I love pumpkin bridges, but pumpkin bridge, real pumpkin. Pumpkin bridge, real pumpkin. It just doesn't, it doesn't work out. So for this little bridge here, I'm thinking we're just going to do something really simple, just a nice wooden bridge. I don't really want to do anything very complicated because, I mean, it's just like farmland, so not really much you can do to make it complicated. But yeah, like a, just a happy little bridge like that. And just bordering it with oak, and it should look... Hold on, I, I actually placed one down here. Let me get this, and it should look, you know, pretty simple but pretty nice. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's like just a... It's just a bridge. I mean, I, I don't really know what else there's to note about it. And just to keep the consistent theme, I'm going to do the same thing over here probably, but maybe like a little bit of a more gradual slope. Do it like that and do it like that. Boom. Now bridge number two is completed. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's a little wonky, but it works. And then if we take a look above, oh yeah, love those little bridges. Now mine is coming in here and just filling in a few more spots of seagrass. Uh, we just got to build the custom trees. And I think... Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that on camera because that would take a long time, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. And then I realized doing all the trees off camera would be kind of lame, so I just decided to make a little bit of a time lapse of it. Here we go. Okay, and a few trees later, this is what we got for our farmland today in this episode. It looks, you know, pretty finished. Like, this actually adds so much to Sunset Valley, and I'm really happy. Like, when we take an overhead view, think about Sunset Valley was this, and now it's this. Like, that, th that, that, like, I almost doubled the size of Sunset Valley. Wow. Uh, that's pretty awesome, I gotta say. And it's also just very peaceful to walk around. I think I'm going to do a few more little details. Like we can add flowers and grasses and ferns and that kind of thing. And we'll also add some like moss and the oak trees. You know, little things like that. But 
Uh, really what's going to make this place look awesome is the two windmills right there. Oh, that's going to look so good. And I'm excited, but we're going to have to hold off until next episode. Uh, I do want to check on our iron farm, though, real quick. It has been a little while since I've checked this, so we'll probably have a good amount of iron. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, please. Look at all that iron. This is going to make, like, more than a stack of iron blocks. Oh, my goodness. A stack and a half of iron blocks. That is phenomenal. And look at our total iron blocks. About four stacks. So we have more than enough iron for a beacon, and that makes me feel wonderful because... When we have a beacon, that means more resources, and more resources mean more terraforming. And more terraforming means more beautiful. And more beautiful means more happy. And more happy means more... happy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, that's great. And now I would love to do more and actually build up the windmills for this episode, but uh, you know what? That is, <laughs> This video's taking way too long. Uh, I really wanted to get this out like two days ago, but that's okay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you popped by the live stream, thank you so much. I see your face, and I love it. Okay, ooh, sunset and sunset valley. Love to see it. Um, but I will see you all in the next episode. So thank you for stopping by and taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you uh, enjoyed. Goodbye. <laughs>